lovely colours then. Absolutely natural um, flowers there with their sort of white or cream with blue edges. You'll see in the screen that close up then. Fantastic. Thank you, Mrs. H. Right then. Welcome to the midweek shave. How are you doing? How's the old health doing? And how's the week going? That's the most important. Shaves. Uh, new soap. Very kindly sent to me by Prohibition Style Accoutrements. And I can't believe I said that in the first. <laughs> Right, what is it? Mary Pickford. Now, um, this soap, when you smell it, is absolutely beautiful. It reminded me of something from my childhood and it took me nearly a week smelling it, smelling it, and it clicked what it was. I'll come to that in a minute. Um, this soap, uh, based on a Canadian actress in the 1920s, Mary Pickford. And she was known as the American Sweetheart. Um, them days she starred in silent movies along with Charlie Chaplin. And she was married to uh, Douglas Fairbanks. And apparently, as Douglas Fairbanks and Charlie Chaplin were in a bar one time, the bartender made a drink up of this sort of cherry, black cherry, fresh pineapple and Bay rum, uh, well, sort of rum, I suppose, and named it in her honour, Mary Pickford. And that's what this is all about, this scent. And um, It's a vegan-based soap, um, but it's been made uh, as to lather up and to give you as good cushion and slickness as any tallow-based soap. Now, I'll read you the, the butters in it. I'm not going to go into the detail. I'll put in the description of this video the um, the website so you can go to it and you know it says the story and everything behind it and other products they sell. But we've got um, shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, sweet almond oil, um, coconut oil, glycerin, olive butter oil, soy butter. And then the fragrance. And um, thank you to his lordship for borrowing me his glasses. Thank you, sir. And um, yeah, there's fantastic. Um, also, this tin is rust proof, apparently. So uh, it's a crope, a very soft, very soft soap. Now then, come into the scent. I can smell straight away cherry. Fantastic cherry. Then, as you keep going, yeah, pineapple and almond. I can smell the almond oil. Now, them are the three main ones I can smell. Now, when I heard of bay rum, I thought there'd be a clovey scent in there. But I can't smell that. I can just smell the pineapple, cherry, and so sort of this almondy scent in the background. But here's a strange thing. When I smelt it first, and this has nothing to do with this, it reminded me of something. I smelt it, I smelt it, I smelt it. And do you know what it was? When I was younger, I used to love a drink called dandelion and burdock. And it's just, there's no dandelion or burdock in this. It's just something in there that resembles dandelion and burdock for me. I don't know what it is, just that quick, beautiful scent. It took me right back. Anyway, I've used these products before. Not this particular one, but the, the five butter uh products and stuff like that. So we'll see how we get on. We're using a West Coast Shaving Synthetic. Um, this is the, what's it, the Space? Uh, wait a minute, Space. Well, it's a turquoise colour. This I forgot the name of now, Space Blue or something. Um, well, no, it's a razor. The Yaki razor we're using. Uh, DLC, Yaki. This is a double open comb. So it should be quite a mild razor, uh, non-adjustable, brass handle, non-brass head and base plate. Because some people said it was a brass, but it's not, because I can tell by the thread on the, um, I'll show you now, uh, on there. That's not, uh, that's not brass. But if you look in there, it shows that is brass. Good weight, good grip, and nice balance. I've used this before, this razor. Very, very warm day again. Slight overhang to be aware of. Persona Red Blade. 
I need a nice mild sort of <laughs> gentle shave so uh, looking forward to this synthetic not um, as I say West Coast shaving I'll put their link in the description as well so you can go have a look to your leisure thank you very much and one thing I like about West Coast shaving they send their brushes in these tubes which is nice and there's one over there that's the that's a synthetic in the middle if you can see that um, the black tube that's their uh, ivory handle but this is the, I forgot the, it's turquoise colour. Anyway, it'll be in the description. Here we go. Another thing I wanted to tell you that uh, anybody's got any questions about what I've used in a shave, you'll notice of, lat, of the latter shaves. If you look in the description of the video, look at this. Whew, I tell you. <laughs> I list everything I've used. And where possible, I put links now to the products and things like that. So hopefully that'll help you. Um, this is beautiful because you have a bit of room in these tins. And this is a synthetic, very soft brush, but always seem to have a good backbone for lathering. Oh, the scent is lovely. Very nice scent, I must admit. I've also been sent, um, scent, do you get it? Lovely scent, I've also... Oh, man by Pro Prohibition Style some uh, samples, a lot of samples in little bags so thank you very much for the soap here and those samples, I'll try them as we go along uh, in different shaves, so thank you again so I'm just going to wet the face very nice right, now we've had an introduction to the what we're using as I say, I hope you're in good, good health and uh, having good shaves. Let's empty that. We'll see how we get on with this. Very thick. Sorry, where I can. Oh, there'll be some water added here. Whew. Oh, come on, please. That smells, if not. Well, it smells nice from the pack, but when you lather it up, wow, well, they don't have uh, the scent doesn't have come out. God, that would have made a nice drink. <laughs> yeah, cherry, very strong. The cherry, beautiful. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about cherry actually, but cherry pineapple. And uh, as I say, bay rum, but I'm not getting any sort of rum or clovey as I think it'd be scents. Just the pineapple and the cherry, which suits me down to the ground. But it may be a, a rum as in drink, maybe. Which I presume it would be. So here we go. That's lovely. That's a, quite a thick, as I say, vegan based. So there's no tallow. Very nice, so we'll see how good it is using the Yaki. This is the Space Blue, I think, um, uh, double open cone razor. Here we go, Persona Red. Oh, nice and gentle. Like I say, these double open combs, when you see them first, you always think, oh, that's going to be aggressive. Because it does look a bit, because you can see the blade and you think, oh, but it's not the case. It's, um, there's a nice gentle aggression there. Nothing, uh, what would I say? It's For me, it's a mild, mild, Yeah, quite mild, but um, maybe slightly more aggressive than a Wilkinson Salt Classic, but only slightly. But it'll shave better than a Wilkinson Salt Classic because of the double open comb allows the flow of the shaving soap and whiskers and stuff as you're shaving. So. And 
and we're going back to the old format of shaving. Old format? What do you mean? There's none of this now from... Right, that's it, pass one. I'll see you in pass two and then we fade. It's going to be one cut. And the reason for that is I used to do it like that a long time ago. Uh, the videos were just one complete video. Um, but the reason I started putting the betweens was because there was a, a very annoying jump. Because the camera, you would think when you're filming, would make one video file. Uh, let's say I press record, leave it run for 20 minutes and then stop. You'd think there would be a 20 minute video. Not the case. Because when you came to take the card out of the camera, there would be five separate or four separate videos. Which is nothing wrong with that. So you put them in the editor and I use Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I have the latest one every year and I have done for a while now. Good. Good editing software. Uh, but last year's, for some reason, used to put a jump as they joined, which is bad. I don't know whether that was a, a blip with their software. I've just had this year's, 2018, and in the last shave, I put two video clips together, and you couldn't tell there was a join. So I thought, well, I can put these back to normal now. They can go back without the... Right, I'm just going to test this on slickness because it's a, it's not a tallow soap on the first pass. Now, okay, we'll see. Wait a minute. It will get better. Oh, fantastic, wow. Yeah, you can feel it there. Yeah, very nice. So that's a good first pass. Okay. Right, off, uh, off we go into pass number two. Hope you don't mind the break. No break, I mean. <laughs> right, I'm gonna add a bit of water to this. I tell you what, that's a lovely brush. Synthetic, wasn't sure how good synthetics would be with but fantastic. everyone I've used for creating from soaps has been good. They're very soft, but they seem to have this just enough backbone to create lather, so what can you say? Really nice. This is a lovely scent. Very nice. And if that was a drink, I would happily join anybody at the bar to drink one of those as well. And I'm not a cocktail drinker. So here we go, across the growth using the Yaki. This is the DLC Yaki. Uh, Space Blue, um, I'm sure it's called that. It's the three piece non adjustable uh, double open comb razor. Persona Red, lovely blade for me. Really nice. You get it. It's not. It's not in your face. The sense is not. It's not overpowering. 
it's there, it is quite strong, but in a nice way. Um, but as you add water, it um, sort of tames it and it's nice, it's really nice. So it's a combination, as I say, cherry, pineapple, and um, it's more of that now that I can't not get in the almondy scent now. It's just the really nice. But slickness, don't usually test it on the first first pass, but very nice, done the job. And the second pass is a bit better. As you add, I suppose, add, add slickness to it. Very nice, that's the second pass. I'm just gonna tidy these, add them in the ants, I call them. <laughs> okay, very nice. Yeah, lovely colours there. Some sort of uh, are they called pastel colours? It could be. Right, I'm going to go back to the puck. And just a chip you follow it and add a bit of water to the brush. Hold it down. A twist of it, and then. Honestly, I wish you could smell that. Oh, but honestly, dandelion and bird. <laughs> For me, you know, it's, it's fantastic. Right, here we go. This is really thick now. Tell you what, wet heads love this. Add a bit of water. And there we go. That's very nice. And thanks for your kind comments about um, the majority and not bothered about the videos, how long they are, and all that sort of stuff. It was very kind of you, that. But um, you know, I still don't want to make them drag on. But uh, yeah. Thanks, it's nice to know anyway that people don't mind them against the growth now. Listen to that. That's lovely. Excellent slickness. And um I must admit, you know, these razors are very nice um, for the price you pay. It's a. Uh, I used to pay it, and I'm there now. Um, but I presume they're still a good price for what they are. Uh, very nice. Very mild razor, as I say, especially with this blade in, nice and standard for me. Does the job nicely, but it's got a slight more uh, aggression, very slight though, than the Wilkinson Sword Classic, but it's a better razor in regards to, as I said, flow of the whiskers shaving cream due to the double open comb. You can still see this little gouge I did. But it's not affected the it's not affecting the shave now, so just going over this uh, and 
that's nice. Longevity of the lather is good, as you can see. Doesn't aerate. So, if you're looking for a vegan based soap, but you wanted the uh, performance and protection and slickness of a tallow based soap. I can recommend it. And the scent, as I say, is a lovely change. Really like that. It would make a good drink. And it's weird how it's uh, I'm just thinking now how we can come how can I get this dandelion and burdock scent from when I was a child? Uh, maybe what's in this was also used in dandelion and burdock, I don't know. But uh, it's nice, very nice. The cherries and the pineapple and stuff like that. Well, that's the pickup time. It's gone for a burden now, isn't it? Because we're not cutting. <laughs> I'm only joking. Three. Two, one, it's pickup time! There we go. <laughs> uh, right, you. And if you've just joined this channel, no, well, yes, I am mad. But it's all in good fun. Okay, pickup time. Not going to go back to the puck. Oh, I wish, honestly, I wish I could smell it. If you like cherry and um, the pineapple stuff like that, I think you'd be quite pleased with this. Because normally, would I buy a soap like that? No. Um, however, the cherry never been. How can I put it? Never been sort of see cherry. Oh, I'll have to have that. Pineapple, maybe. As I've had it, cherry pineapple, I would now, yes, I would buy it. So, you know, it's, it's, you should try things you maybe not, well, you wouldn't usually buy or try. Because sometimes you can be surprised. This is lovely. I have some more yaki razors to use, actually. The non-adjustable non sort of quite colourful ones. It feels a very nice, comfortable shave. It's a beautiful morning here. Sun is starting to come up. It's going to get quite warm again, most likely. And uh, the birds are singing. So they'll be fed now. And I put a couple of apples out in half for the blackbirds. And the odd uh, magpie that comes to pitch on. <laughs> and crows I've seen trying to... I don't mind, they're all birds. Sheffield. There we go. Not on a shave, thank you. I apologise about that. The only reason I've never brought my phone in here is because of that happening. But I brought it today because I wanted to read the, the um, description of that ingredients and uh, that happens so but everything's filmed my shaves anyway as you see cuts and all
very good slickness. Thing is, will you bring an aftershave of that scent out? Beautiful. That'd be nice. Right, we'll rinse off. <laughs> What's this? We've got a new member of the towel family. <laughs> it matches it. Yeah, I know we've put that there. Thank you very much, old uh, Mrs. Creative Head. Oh, lovely. As Don would say, say hello to Mr. Towel. Hey. Oh, that is beautiful. Very nice. That's a nice towel. Welcome to the family. Thank you very much. May have the pleasure of your company in future shaves, shall we? Never mind that. Thayer's Unscented. That's lovely. My hands on. And because of the bay rum, and that soap, which I couldn't uh, smell, not as the bay rum as I know, but it's probably a rum as in drink. I'm going to use some of that and use this for a while. Benjamin's Bay Rum with a bit of the old menthol in it, which is nice in this sort of warm weather. You have to be careful though, it's a large open top, so finger over the top, just a bit. Yeah, this is a classic bay rum, clovey. And that's another a scent I think you either like or you don't. Very nice. We can use you for a while. Very nice. Very. Yeah, the menthol's there, but it's not sort of. It's not the Osage or Osage rub. Um, and then to put the protection back, I'm going to use this new. Uh, very nice this, enjoy this. Uh, Day Moisturiser Complete Care 6. Now what the 6 means I don't know. Um, oh I got glasses today, just bear with me. Oh nice. Moisturises for up to 24 hours, protects the skin from dryness. Number 3, strengthens skin elasticity. Said that. Number four, firms the skin. Number five, supports cell renewal. And number six, visibly reduces <laughs> wrinkles. <laughs> well, it can't be that good. Right, twist, click. In. That's enough, probably too much. Close. Very nice. As I say, it smells just, oh, it feels lovely though, just like the originals, which I love. Uh, it's a lovely cream. Whether it's the same thing, I don't know. <laughs> I doubt, I think they they do sort of look into things and update them and try and make things better. And that includes the price. But um, yeah, very nice, very nice. So have a look at that shave. Hmm? Nice, clean and smooth. So we've used, as I say, prohibition style accoutrements. Mary Pickford cherry, pineapple and bay rum, uh, vegan based soap. Very nice, easy to lather, beautiful scent. Reminded me of another scent from my childhood, as I said, dandelion and burdock for some reason. Um, works well, really nice and uh, you know, there's a nice story behind it. I'll put the link in the description anyway for you to see uh, other stuff they've got and um, the story behind that and the ingredients and all the details. West Coast Shaving, this is the turquoise. Uh, ancient Stone, that's what I was thinking. Ancient Stone, uh, synthetic shaving brush. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, well made, nice. 
and as you can see there it lathered up that okay it's a crope it's not a soap hard soap lathered it up lovely and then we've used the uh, DLC the Yaki this is the space blue uh, three-piece razor non-adjustable brass handle uh, good weight good grip and nice balance double open comb very nice razor done a lovely job in connection with me anyway with this using the persona red the blade blade brand new that was and then we rinsed off with water and we added Thayer's unscented witch hazel then we went with a Benjamin's Bay Rum mentholated aftershave splash on lotion lovely and there is a kick of menthol there but nothing nothing will make your eyes water and then the Nivea the new active age act your age <laughs> I call it active age as you see um, day moisturiser very nice that's it so thank you very much I apologise for the uh, phone ringing in between very unprofessional but that's I'm not a professional so maybe it's okay and um, have some great shaves the rest of the week stay in good health happy and um, as I say any nasty negativity just kick it out the window probably with a person that says it to you <laughs> see you um yeah so have a great week some better shaves and uh, i'll see you on sunday for the weekend shave take care